Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time though using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, welcome to the latest video and in this video tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the box plot using Minitab. Now for this particular example I've decided to use the Minitab example data so if you've not used this before um, it's called plant growth so what they've done is they're they're replicating as if you're doing a, uh, an experiment with growing plants different types of fertilizer so in the fertilizer column you have none you have grow fast fertilizer or super plant fertilizer so we have three different fertilizers and then we have about 40 or 50 data points so 40 or 50 plants that we've uh, grown and we're going to summarize the data using a box plot now the box plot is great for summarizing large pieces of data so we're only going to have 50 data points per group here but if for instance you have an automatic data collection system that happens to collect 5,000 data points a day and you want to summarize what the last 50 days have been like well you'd literally have you know 300,000 400,000 data points and it would be impossible to just put it on a simple run chart so the box plot is going to show you within day variability and between day variability so it's a nice way of summarizing huge data sets the box plot we're going to do something a little bit simpler so there's the data I'm going to go graph because that's where you find this thing box plot and the one we're going to select is with groups because we have the three fertilizer groups if I click OK I then have to put the height look in the graph variable box I have to put the fertilizer in the categorical grouping now in this case the categorical grouping happens to be in text but it doesn't have to be in text we've put none we've put super grow and I can't remember what the other fertilizer is um, but it doesn't have to be in text it could have been fertilizer one fertilizer two and fertilizer three and it could have been as simple as that but you need to tell it where the data is and where the categories are and then if you click OK let's pop this out it draws you a box plot so each box is showing you the group of data for grow fast no fertilizer and super plant and I can explain the boxes a little bit better if we go to a PowerPoint slide where I've got this picture already set up okay so here's the box plot so just to explain what the plot is showing you so the top of the line here the bottom of the line now it could just be that this is the maximum this is the minimum so it's just showing you the basic range it's actually doing something a little bit more than that because if it considered data points to be flyers it would indicate them as such as individual stars on this diagram now we don't have any flyers so there aren't any stars but effectively what you're looking at is this it's showing you that there's a distribution that looks like that and then the flyers would be sitting away from the distribution so if you have flyers they will be indicated as stars so that's the first thing about this this is effectively the maximum and the minimum of the distribution the middle portion is where 50% of your data sits the line across the middle is the mean so what you can see from the the difference here you can see the between group variability 
but you can also see the within group variability and should there be any you will see the flyers so it's a very very uh, really it's a very very good summary of large data sets and we can easily see the difference between Growfast, Superplant and the fertilizer averages we can also see that the within group variability doesn't change too much although maybe this one the super plant has a bit more variability than the other two um, but not massively and there aren't any flyers so we have some straightforward distributions grouped together so that's the box plot it's a great summarization of large data sets shows 50% of the data in the box and it also shows the flyers the box plot using Minitab okay well I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on that subject if you've got any questions about Minitab that you want me to help you with or indeed any questions about Six Sigma uh, at all or indeed Lean please drop me a message either in the comments below please subscribe also um, but you can also leave me an email if you send me an email on any question and you need a little bit of advice I'm more than happy to help you out and of course if you want me to come and help you inside your factory fix a technical problem please drop me a line I hope to hear from you soon